Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Left Sheikh Excel Master, and I'm your friend Faraz Sheikh. And today we are going to learn how to create a dynamic drop-down list in Excel. Let us quickly jump to our demo file. Well, we have a set of data over here, like these are the list of the countries, and this is our entry field. And if I add any new country, it should automatically appear in this list. Well. I just need this uh, this data is already into a table range and I hit the tab key and to China and you can see the country China is appearing now this method is only helpful once you have a data in the same sheet what about if you have your master data into another sheet and you like to have all these entries being into the drop-down list well, this method, which I'm going to show you, my friends, it will be very helpful. So there will be no restrictions for the users. They can enter it in the column. The data will automatically appear over there. So let us go back to our file. And this is a very small secret formula, which I'll be showing it to you. So we are going to say equal to offset. Okay. The reference will be the first cell. Remember, it is very important, my friends. For reference will be the first cell, and then we are going to press F4. We are going to log the range, comma. Rows, we are going to keep it at zero, comma. Again, we are going to keep the columns at zero, comma. And this time, we are going to use the count A function, through which we are going to count the number of entries available in this column. And we are going to close the bracket and minus one because we don't need the headers. Comma, enter. Close, close parentheses, enter. Great. So you don't worry about the result. All you need to do is just copy this formula. You will highlight the column where we want to have this drop down list. We'll go back to data, data validation, we'll go list. And we are going to paste this formula over here. And we are going to say, okay. And you can delete the formula from here. As you can see, we got this list, Australia, Australia, UK, India, and we're going to add another country, China. And you can see it's added over here, China. Let's look about Thailand. And we have Thailand as well as over here. And if you see the first record also, it's available here. Isn't it great, my friends? You can easily allow your users to enter n number of data so they are not restricted to that they have to enter it into a certain range. Let me show it to you here. Great. I hope you guys you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and do not forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button. So you can be connected with the latest update and a soft copy of this file will be kept on my Facebook group page So you can download from there and a small exercise file is there so you can try it by yourself And in case if you get stuck somewhere, then there's no issues You can just click on this link and it will direct you to this video Signing off for today your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master